Hey guys, welcome you all in T3P Technology to the point. In this quick video, we will go through AWS Solution Architect Roadmap, the resources which you can use step by step, and you can start your journey from the beginner level and to become expert. So, what are the services and the steps you need to go through? We will talk about in this quick video. So, without wasting time, let's get started. So the thing is, uh, I'll mention the step by step. So first step is something like you need to start by learning the basic of cloud computing. Okay, without cloud computing, it, you will not able to understand what is going on in AWS. So AWS is a cloud computing platform which provides services over the internet. So you can have. So first thing you need to start with cloud computing concept, and then you need to go through the AWS fundamentals. Okay, so when we I'm talking about what is the difference in these two so when we are talking about the cloud computing concept then you need to understand what type of service model we are having deployment model we are having what are the services and terms we need to go through like high availability scalability agility elasticity capex opex so many things comes under cloud computing concept and then you need to start with the aws fundamental where you need to understand what are the regions geographies and then you need to understand what are the availability zones how many regions we are having this is based mainly on the architecture side means physical architecture which which help us to provide the high availability for the designs or for the solutions they provide the digestion recovery how it works right so you need to understand the fundamental of aws so you can do it to two ways either you can go through theoretical uh, so i'll mention the resources how you can start that thing and then uh, you just need to create that uh, AWS free tier account. Okay. Once you will create that one, then explore the AWS console. So you will learn that how AWS services work and how you need to work with the AWS console to work for AWS cloud. So these things you need to learn. Then you can also take the AWS practitioner essential course or as well. I'll share the link to learn more about the AWS and the value it provides to the customers so these things we need to go through so this is the first step that we need to take here the next step, uh, next step is gain the good understanding of core aws services when i'm talking about the core aws services uh, it's about the backbone of the cloud when i'm saying this what does that mean it means you need to understand services related to compute network storage dvs so you need to understand when we are talking about the compute it is ec2 and what other types of compute we are having when we are talking about the network then you need to understand what are the vpc and the other gateways we are having which help us to connect different types of environment there then you need to understand about the storage file like s3 is very very important so we are having other storage type as well right you need to learn those things and then you need to focus on database services as well so we are having relational database service in aws so you need to go through this one you just start with this one so how you can do it you can do this by going through the aws developer course that is very good okay when you need to do something hands-on or you can if you don't want to go through the developer course then you can also work through the hands-on labs on aws consoles it's your choice what you want to go through and what not so i'm suggesting just to follow these things then it can help you now we have the understanding of core services then we need to move further so what we need to do learn other important aws services so where here we need to learn like lambda aws lambda or amazon lambda services that is serverless computing we can say dynamodb that is also very important for AWS and the cloud formation. Cloud formation help us to provision uh, infrastructure through the code. So it's like a Terraform based model. So uh, this service, uh, these are the few advanced services that you can start after going through the core services and you can do it through the same here. You will get the things or you can do it through the uh, um, hands on labs okay now we will talk about the next section what you need to go through in this section you need to go learn more about the high availability and 
DR high availability and disaster recovery architecture of AWS that will help you to understand what are the services come in AWS which can help you to provide solution which is highly available and which uh, services required to deploy your disaster recovery side okay? that is very very important for all the organization I'm saying okay so this includes you need to understand how to design and implement multi-tier architecture and how to use services like route 53 route 53 is a DNS service that can help us for disaster recovery and other stuff and also understand auto scaling auto scaling will help us to provide high availability so these are the few services you need to go through to move further your expert level journey in AWS now we will talk about the next step so in the next step now we have learned the core services we have learned the advanced services also we have learned about the uh, high availability and disaster recovery architecture of AWS right now we need to learn about security best practices as well without security nothing will work in our organization so, so here we need to understand how we can use our IAM services to many users and permissions how we can decide and define uh, which user should have which type of permission so you need to learn that thing as well when you are planning yourself as a master of AWS okay in terms of solution architect after that you need to learn how to use services such as VPC for the security wise network access control list these are the and security groups which is very important to provide protect your environment right so these will help you to secure your infrastructure that is very very important step I would say when you are planning your journey for the expert level and now we will talk the next step once we are having everything like core services advanced services high availability and disaster recovery architecture we have learned about how we can implement multi-tier architecture and we have learned how we can use route 53 and auto scaling services and uh, we learned about the security features what we are having and how we can use IAM services and these security services then we need to prepare for some certification that will give you some confidence or give you credential that you can showcase okay you are certified in this 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 so here you can plan your AWS certified solution architect certification here okay so you can I'll share the link how you can start it means uh, there is a training provided by AWS as well so I'll mention all the links uh, that it is for so the resource about the resource uh, we will talk later after we finish all the steps so just to prepare for AWS certified solution architect exam and then do practice with the practice questions if you need any help you can reach me uh, also you can go through the video which is available for the practice questions next try to clear this certification okay after preparation clear that certification here you will be certified solution architect now what is next is your journey finished for the expert level not yet to further advance your skills and knowledge you can consider obtaining AWS Certified Solution Architect Professional Level Certification. Once you are done with this, this step, seven step, don't disturb yourself because this is just a Solution Architect Associate Level Certification. But here we are looking for something which can make you master or we can say the expert in AWS Cloud. So that is the best thing that you start preparing for this certification and go through the exam guides and or do more and more practice don't go without practice for this certification this is very very tough I can say so the thing is uh, now we have talked about the uh, so what we need to go through in terms of content to make ourselves from beginner to expert level now we will talk about the resources okay so what resources can help you I'll share all the links in the description box so nothing to worry just I'm mentioning where you need to focus you need to focus on AWS documentation see there are many third parties available who is providing training courses practice courses but the thing is the latest information you will get it only from the 
AWS sites, right? So just follow AWS documentation. Then there is a section called AWS training and certification where you will get the content training free training for any certification you are looking for so the to up to date content you will get it there then there is a blog also that will help you to learn more about aws scenarios it is a good resource for staying up to date and with the latest development and the best practices related to the aws cloud next you need to go through to aws youtube channel as well so there is a youtube channel for from the aws side that you can use it to learn yourself so now you got everything right let uh, me summarize it from where you need to start you need to start from the cloud computing fundamentals then you need to learn about the aws fundamentals then you need to learn about the core services for aws cloud from the compute network storage and databases then you need to focus more on some advanced services like lambda that is serverless dynamodb cloud formation infrastructure as a code terraform related service then you need to focus more on the solutions related to the high availability and disaster recovery implement multi tier application and i'll mention when you want to become expert it's not a uh, job to become a master in a one or two days right you need to focus more on hands on practices go through the concepts again and again i'll also share the some cheat sheet which can help you to refer the services quickly next to once you are done with these things then focus more on security part because this is totally a different domain but when you want to become expert it is uh, very much required for you when you are planning any solution designing any solution or you are going to implement any solution then you can focus more on building your credentials in your resume so you can mention that thing in front of the your organization or the client or when you are appearing for the interview so these credential will so that you are certified candidate to work on these type of solution keep these resources handy link uh, keep these links whatever i'm sharing uh, in a bookmark so you can easily go through them uh, if you have any doubt any questions you are having just mention in the comment box share with uh, this thing with your friends so guys i hope you find this video helpful if you find it then don't forget to click on like button and share with your friends subscribe this channel for more such resources in future see you in next video till then happy learning